Yeah. This one here is the following, right? It's uh, exercise 414. This is question 4. The following group frequency distribution table shows the number of hours secondary school students spent watching TV in one particular week. Remember, 4 to 6 doesn't include 6 hours, it includes just below 6 hours. 6 to 8 doesn't include 8 hours, just below 8 hours. Okay, using the mid interval values, the mean time spent watching the TV was calculated to be 9. Find out what X is. We've done this before where we change the, the uh, intervals to the halfway point. Okay, and then what we do is the mean equals the total hours watched total hours divided by total students so that's how you get the mean so what we need to do is we need to figure out what is the uh, total hours now to get the total hours you usually multiply the two of these by each other so we're going to get 10 for the first one we're going to get 56 for the second one the third one's going to be 45 now the fourth one is 11 multiplied by x plus 11x okay the last one's 13 multiplied by 3 which is 39 now all that we do is to find the total hours, if two students watch 10 hours, that's 20 hours in total. So to get the total hours, we need to add them all up together. Okay? So what we're going to get is 10 plus 56 plus 45 plus 11x plus 39. Okay, then we're going to divide that by the total students. Now what's the total students guys? 2 plus 8 plus 5, which is 15, 15 plus 3. 18. 18 plus x because you don't know what x is yet okay now what you need to do is anybody has a calculator handy is add add every number but the 11x on top so you're going to get 66 plus 45 66 plus 45 is 111 111 plus 39 i think is 150 so 11x plus 150 over 18 plus x that is the main does it tell you what the main is though it says the mean was calculated to be 9 hours <coughs> so the mean equals 9 now you have a basic fraction question can I move time what to do next? cross multiply so you're going to get 11x plus 150 equals 9 times 18 plus x what you do next then is uh, again you're going to multiply them out what's 9 times 18 anybody? 160 162 plus 9x equals 11x plus 150. Get the x's over one side to get our numbers over to your side. So I'm going to get 11x minus 9x equals 162 uh, minus 150. So 2x equals 100 and uh, equals 12 x equals 6. There. Now you can check your answer like Gavin if you let's say you did get 112 you'd imagine it'd be, it'd be a huge number in comparison to the other ones so it might not be accurate okay. Now a comment was made shh, a comment was made that this frequency distribution table did not accurately represent the time spent by secondary students watching TV. Make one statement in response to this comment. Well the response I can say to this comment is, well, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't uh, interview enough people. I only interviewed two plus eight plus five plus six plus three, and when I add all them up together, I only interviewed uh, 24 people. Is 24 people uh, accurate enough sample? Where do I get these 24 people from? Are they sporty people that play sport preferentially over playing TV? So when it comes to when it comes to any relevant point, get your marks, okay? So you just say, argue where you got the people from, argue how many people you interviewed. The bigger the amount of people you interview, the more accurate your results. All right, guys.